What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Dive Addiction. Today, I've got my cousin Andy, his wife Krista, and my buddy Travis out here with me. Um, I just left this part in just because I thought it was cool and I thought you guys would enjoy it being able to see buoyancy of a bowling ball underwater. Now, there are some bowling balls that will sink a lot faster, but this one is a little bit floaty. If you guys are liking what you're seeing, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification so you get notified anytime I post a new video. Alright guys, so here was the dive plan, and I made a huge mistake when I was putting this dive plan together. Um, out of all of us, Krista has the least number of dives, and I don't 100% know how she dove, but like all day, the day before, she seemed like she was just back there and hanging out and she wasn't trying to swim quick. Andy, I know, has a problem with taking off. He will leave you. I, I've seen him do it. Um, he did it to me a few times, but I should have put Travis in front, because Travis has a nice, slow, leisurely pace. I put Chris in front, because I'm like, well, I know I can catch up to you if you start to take off. No big deal, right? She gone. She gone. Buddy. She gone. And I'm like, well, maybe she'll slow down. So I'm just like hanging back here trying to get video of... I was trying to get video of all three of them. Uh, Andy on the right, Travis in the middle, and Krista's. You can see her bubbles right there over on the left. And at this point, I'm like, all right, I'm going to have to turn up the afterburner. Because I can. you can see Travis. like He's already like, what the heck, man? We're not supposed to be going this fast. So I turn up the afterburners. Travis looked at me like, bro, you gonna get her? Turn up the afterburner trying to catch up to her. And this is not easy. Swimming fast in water, anytime you want to double your speed, you have to use four times the energy. So here in a minute, I'm gonna be cooking through some gas. I, I'm spent at this point. Just catching up that much, like it didn't seem like it was very far or very, you know, very much. But just that alone will completely drain. So I catch up to her, trying to tell her to slow down, and now I got to catch my breath. Now, like on the last video that I did, I said in the daytime or even at night. If I'm not leaving somebody by themselves outside of this old school bus, I'm going through it every time. Can't help myself. I love going through things. I think that was one of the appeals to side mount, is the ability to go through tighter things than back mount. And the fact that I can carry more gas, so that's always a positive in my book. The more gas I can carry, the longer I can stay underwater. And well, that's kind of why we're diving. We want to stay underwater. So, And these fish right here will always be right up in the face. There's that pregnant rainbow trout that just went by. So there she is again. Some of these fish are really ugly. Like, they've got 
they, they've got some, some stuff going on with them. So, at this point, I'm just trying to stay kind of still, relax myself, get my breathing rate back down, wait for everybody to catch up, because we're quite a bit of ways ahead of everybody at this point, so. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go for it. You can see all this rust hanging down. Becoming a little bit of an entrapment hazard. I think next time uh, when I go back, I'm gonna push that rust back up just a little bit. Either that or break it off so that it's not really as much of an entanglement hazard. If you get entangled on it, you can easily break it. I mean, this rust is flimsy. You can see through it in most places. Look at this right here. I didn't really see him when I was first starting this video. This, I mean, it's just another fish. But look how big that cat is. I've been seeing this catfish since I first started coming here in uh, 2020. And it's amazing to, that you can actually recognize these fish. Now, I'm going to give Travis a huge shout on this. He's, he's a newer diver. I think he's got 26 dives at this point. And for him to be able to breathe down on one breath from his starting height to being able to get down in through this, I was impressed. I mean, that's takes a lot. Here comes Krista coming out of the helicopter. Here comes Andy. I gave Krista the okay, but she's never looked up high enough at me. Andy looks at me, gives me the okay on the way out. I'll get right go into the airplane. Here I'm coming through the door of the airplane, and I just get this idea. I'm like, I'm going for it. I go and I get backed into the cockpit, which is the easiest thing to do. Now I'm going to get video of everybody going through it. There's Travis. Real good. It's real hard to get through here without kicking anything. Like It's almost impossible, but he did the best job I think I've seen getting through there without really touching anything. There goes Krista. She never really touched too much. She's got this little modified flutter kick. He's keeping these up a little bit higher, but other than that, pretty good. Now Andy comes through here. Doing good. That little hand movement that he did along with that little sideways bit of kicking gave him that drift over into the wall. I've drifted into that wall many times. It's just making that turn with that tight of a movement is just not easy. Especially if you go into it with any momentum. It's nice to see even as newer divers, they both check on each other. You've seen them both give the okay to each other. Now once we get up here, um, I am going to have to get Travis's attention. Because I want him to turn left so we can go underneath this bridge. This is a fun one. I like to try and breathe my way down. But this is such a far drop that usually you have to use a little bit of BCD to be able to arrest your descent. Because um, as you know, when you drop air in your BCD compresses, so it makes it to where as you're going down, you just get more and more negatively buoyant. But 
I actually did this one completely on lungs. I didn't use my VCD, which that was pretty impressive to me, because usually right about here, I'm just like tapping that gas so that I don't bottom out in that in that uh, mud at the bottom. But this time I didn't have to do that. And I, I was really surprised about that. Bunch of long, really, really deep breaths with the slow top end exhalation, followed by re topping my lungs. Always helps. You can see right there, his foot's in the bottom. He did kind of come down a little bit too far on that. He just stayed up a little bit higher in the water column and kept his face down just a little bit farther and feet up just a little bit higher. He's still getting used to that new tank, but other than that, good. Andy and Krista stayed up high, and that's perfectly fine. Don't do anything, even if it's something simple like this, if you're not comfortable doing it. Now right here, Andy ends up having a problem, like the worst problem of the day. He had a reverse clock in his sinuses. You do not want this. Um, it was at this point when I realized that they weren't coming down, and I wasn't 100% sure why. I turn back, I look at them, I realize they're not coming down. I'm not 100% sure why. I think I don't know if it's because they think it's colder down here, or if something's wrong, or what. But they're staying right there, and I'm like, okay. Like, I'm going to wait right here, because I don't want to leave them alone, because they're real. Um, 10, 11 dives in. But I don't want to leave Travis either, because Travis is newer. I, Travis is really good for the amount of dives that he's got. So I kind of just sit right here and I kind of keep an eye on both of them at the same time. I don't want to leave Travis down here if he's going to have a problem and leave him completely by himself. But I don't want them to think that me and him are leaving them. So as he comes back around, I give him the signal that we're going to turn the dive. And then I'm going to go and sort out what's going on with those two. And it is cold down here. <laughs> I, I thought they just weren't coming down because they knew it was going to be cold. But come to find out, Andy's got a reverse block in his sinuses. So once Travis gets up to us, I go up, I figure out what's going on. He points to a sinus and then instantly. So we take them up to the nearest dock and get him out of the water. And this is the rest of the dive with just me and Travis, right up against the bank. This spot is so beautiful. I mean, absolutely beautiful. I think I'm just gonna leave you guys with this. Um, I'm just gonna add some music to this and stop talking for most of it. At the very end, I'm gonna point out one more thing, but other than that, I mean, all in all, what a beautiful dive. What a, This right here is just, such a beautiful spot to go right underneath this old dock you get the way the lights cutting through the water and this old little forest it's fun to swim around in through and see the bass the bass are really active over in here but uh make sure you guys hit that like button subscribe to my channel hit the bell notification and Definitely leave me some comments. I love reading everybody's comments. I read every one of them. I usually reply to every one of them also. And uh, yeah, until next time, I will see you guys in the water.
All right. The one thing that I wanted to point out here at the end was Travis bumping the barrels above. Now, the only reason he did that is because the shallower you get, the harder it is to control your buoyancy. Anybody that can dive in shallow water can probably dive just about anywhere. It's why one of my favorite lakes to go to is only 20 feet deep, and, well, it'll teach you a thing or two. But I appreciate each and every one of you guys for watching my videos. Make sure you smash that like button, leave me some comments down below, and hit the bell notification so that you know when I post new videos. Until next time, I'll see you in the water.